right, we are at Grass Skirt and we're about ready to enter here for a cocktail competition for Tiki Oasis. This is the preliminaries for the finalists that will be competing there at Tiki Oasis during the event. I am one of the judges and I'm excited to see what is going to be served here today. I don't know any of the contestants, at least I don't think I do. I don't know who they are, but there's supposed to be 12 of them. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they come up with and seeing the creativity and all that kind of stuff. So let's go inside and check it out. basically, but with a spooky kind of Halloween twist. Camping, I think, is just a beautiful expression of escapism. Like, a campfire, to me, is about as tiki as you can get, and about as least controversial as you can get. I mean, everybody can say tiki means a million different things, but the biggest part about it is escapism. I like to go places, I like to be outside, I like to be immersed in nature, and I love a campfire.
string is named Kinoka Uhane, which in Hawaiian supposedly means like tea for the soul. So it's gonna be a matcha cocktail. In three, two, one, go. Hawaiian Pog, so passion fruit orange guava that you guys are familiar with, and uh, California, well, the uh, pineapple dole whip that you get from Disneyland, because that was one of the first flavor profiles. So here's the first for this cocktail is the Hawaiian Pog and the California dole whip. What are you thinking so far? Uh, they're all been really tasty, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of everyone. They've uh, had some good ideas. The cocktails look delicious. They taste good. Uh, they've all come in well on their you know, Yeah, threshold, which is really hard to do with a bunch of like, heavy tiki drinks with lots of cocktail ingredients and garnish. I've been pleasantly surprised, to be quite honest with you. I think the balance has been really well on the We've had four so far. So right. the first four have been balanced really well. Yep. Some have been presented better than others, but this is a it, it's, it's a pretty good competition. Yeah, so far it's been great. I would expect nothing less. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really, Lots of great yeah. yeah, awesome, awesome. My name is Katie Lomba. Um, this is my first bartending competition. <laughs>
parts in our brain to my wolves. And that's what we're spending for about a year and a half. I don't know if you can hear it, but my drink is based off of Audrey Two from Little Shop Accords. So I'm trying to get you the soundtrack, but I don't know if you can hear it. So that, just imagine that Little Shop Accords is playing in the background. <laughs> How you doing guys? My name is Dakota. I'm one of the newer bartenders over at Polite Provisions. Today I'm going to be presenting my cocktail, The Manager. So, for 14 years I worked at the San Diego Zoo. Started off as a butcher at a full service restaurant when I was 17. Started serving at 18 and bartending at 21. I held that position for nine years before I managed that restaurant, three others, and the alcohol program for the park as a whole. One of the most the fulfilling parts about working at the San Diego Zoo was working with all my employees and allowing them to blossom and grow into who they were going to be. One of my employees in particular, she became one of the animal caretakers. One of her first job duties was to manage the daily diet for the man. So with that, we're going to jump right into the man here and kind of get into what makes this cocktail exciting for the man in particular. Alright, let's go! Uh, so we took Capaldi's white rum and fat washed that with the cashew oil. And then we took Capaldi's barrel rested rum and fat washed that with the coconut oil. I've been bartending for eight years. Eight years? Yeah. Is this your first competition? Your third? This is your my first. This, is, this is my first competition. First competition! We got it! I bartend at Lime and the Coconut, which is a new tiki bar that will be open soon. Julissa! Uh, today I'm making a cocktail called Deadly Venoms. Uh, it's one that I actually started working on about three years ago. And the original influence for it was uh, I really wanted to make a tiki cocktail that incorporated Pfizer which is uh, kind of like a Chinese grain liquor that has like plum notes. It's very funky, and I've always thought it would pair really, really well with a funky Jamaican rum.
How you doing, friends? My name is Roman, representing Louis Rose at the Wayfarer Hotel in downtown. I'm making the Fast Times at Bali High cocktail. It's sort of a Mr. Bali High cocktail combined with a sort of 80s decadence of espresso martini. What I always came back to would always work were tropical ingredients. And one of my farm managers once told me that it works, and it's so true that if it grows together, it goes together. And that is the central theme of this, of this cocktail. My name is Chris Roblas, uh, I'm representing the fishery and I decided to make you guys a little bit of a sweet treat for the Tiki Oasis competition. So just to give you a little bit of background on what this drink is about, it's um, it kind of goes back to this one really, really special moment that I kind of think about maybe twice a week. But I was living in Hawaii at the time and my sister was part of this, uh, this hula club, this one instance where she was actually chosen to dance for, uh, I'm sure you guys know him, Michael. Little Michael Jackson. So it was this huge event, and I was like, I've never met the guy, I don't really know who that guy is, but I'm super excited. So this drink kind of is an ode to that one special moment because when he was walking to the hotel lobby, the first thing he said while everyone was quiet was, Look at those tropical birds. So this drink is called Tropical Bird Songs, an ode to that very special moment that I think about twice a week.
Also, I want to say thank you to all of our judges. I kind of threw things um, through a loop this year with our judges. I wanted it to be very non-favoritism. I wanted people that really lived the lifestyle and drank the drinks and did the thing. So I appreciate you guys driving all the way down from West Covina, uh, LA, OB, Chula Vista, Golden Hill, yeah, Carlsbad. You guys, I really appreciate it. You took a train from LA, yeah. So it's very, very cool, you guys. Uh, all of our judges are very highly respected in um, Polynesian pop, exotic subculture. So, all right, here we go. If your name is not called. Well, I should say, this was actually the closest competition we've ever had. It was literally like a point, a point, a point, a point. So everyone did a really, really good job. If your name isn't called, we have swag bags and awesome goodies for you guys. Uh, I believe back here. Can yeah. somebody confirm that? Out where did I catch? Right over the back there. So if your name is not called, go get some swag. Live your best life. We love it. All right, here we go. All right, this is in no particular order, correct? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I just looked at this right now for the first time. So. Uh, <laughs> our first finalist is going to be Tristan. to all of you guys for making a really good competition. Our final finalist competing for Miss Art. Not Miss. I've done a lot of these posts, so. I've always wanted to Right. Final competitor competing for uh, Tukunis' bartender battle is Riley. Roman. Yeah. All right, I'm here with another co-judge, our friend Craig. Aloha, Craig. Aloha. So what are your thoughts? Well, so it's definitely like an epic battle. You know, there were a lot of people doing a lot of things, you know? So, you know, for me, most of the drinks were pretty balanced. There was one that, actually there were two that were a little off on each, each end. One was a little sweet, one was a little bitter or tart for me. Yeah. But for the most part, people brought their A game. You know, it was it was it was good. I mean, it was close, right? For me. And the truth yeah. is that I would have enjoyed any of those drinks in any bar. Yeah. Right. For sure. Right, because you know, look, we go to a lot of bars and we drink a lot of cocktails, right? And the truth is that I've had a lot of bad drinks. And for this particular competition. They were all good. None of them were horrible. None of them were, horrible. Of them were horrible. horrible at all. I think it was a very close race. Yeah. But I also believe that the people who won deserve their spot. For sure. Yeah, so Definitely. coming into Tiki Oasis, it's going to be an even tighter battle. It will be. Yeah. They're going to have to, like, definitely, like, improve. Bring your A game, right? Yeah. 
for sure. But really, it was an honor for me to be part of the judge panel. It was awesome. It was fun. And, and, it was yeah, super fun being a judge. Right. Can't complain at all. Yeah. Like, yeah. Everyone yeah. did great. Everyone really tried hard. Everyone was nervous, as to be expected. The judges were nervous, I feel. Like, yeah. You know. Like, Good job to all the contestants. Really, yeah. the truth is that it separated everybody by really about one point. Yeah, yeah. Sure. So good job, everybody. Definitely. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, thanks for doing this. Thanks for putting yourself out there. Definitely. Thanks for making us some awesome cocktails. Sure. Okay, I'm here with my friend Diana. Aloha. Aloha, everyone. How you doing? What did you think of the competition this year? I loved it so much. Everyone was so enthusiastic. It was so cool to see Polly represented in such a cool and organic way. I honestly had such a hard time judging everyone. So I will say that of all the competitions I've judged in the past, this one, like all of the drinks have been, were actually very balanced. And it, it was really, really close, right? So I it think- It was especially impressive because we had so many first timers. Yes, yes. So really for me, uh, I mean, there was maybe one or two, there were 12 contestants, right? Of the one or two, were probably, one was maybe too sweet, one was maybe too bitter, but in the end, it almost came down to the presentation. Presentation, how people incorporate brands, I encourage everyone who ever does cocktail competitions, please talk about the brand sponsoring it and how they're a part of your story, and the yes. one thing I did yes. see this year is very few people incorporated the Tiki Oasis theme for this year, which that is something was, that we've that, all That one about. really, really stood out to me. I think that hurt a few contestants, mm -hmm. but the truth is the cocktails, if you served that cocktail to me in one of your bars, I would have really enjoyed it. And rule number one, never bring a competing brand yes. here to a competition. This is a sponsored <laughs> event. Use your sponsor's product. Yeah, seriously. But but you know, really, I'm, I'm honored to have been included as part of the judging panel. Like and I enjoyed all of the co cocktails. And I have so many new bars to go check out now. Exactly, right? So there we go. Congrats to all the contestants. I know what it's like to put yourself out there. So thank you for putting yourself out there and giving us your best. And congratulations to all of our winners. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time at Tiki Oasis. All right, Oasis. all right. See you at Tiki Oasis.